Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kishan Dagra from Noya Doc. This is our second video on YouTube, and uh, today we are going to talk about the resources and tips to study biochemistry. So, guys, if you liked our previous video on the resources and tips for anatomy, please subscribe to this channel and comment down how we can improve and uh, let us know your doubts in the comment section. Okay, guys, one important point to remember before starting any subject is that you need to apply it clinically. You need to apply it to your daily life. Applying to clinically and applying it to daily life will help you retain that for a longer period of time. So yes, apply it to clinically as I said that in the last video also. Guys, we will begin with our resources for biochemistry. Mostly there are three standard books which are followed most by the students. That is Satya Narayan, uh, a book written by Vasudevan and third international edition which is used that is Harper's. These are the three books resources which are used and the video resources mostly three types of video resources are followed first one is uh, uh, by video lectures by dr rebecca james in marrow second one is uh, biochemistry by prep ladder that is by dr smiley pruthi and uh, third that is physio that's all resources which are quite commonly followed for this subject the questions from biochemistry in competitive exams are different for different exams like first there used to be MCI or FMGE exam so most of the questions for one liners and uh, we have to mark up the things whereas the USMLE exams asked uh, it in a clinical oriented way so it depends on exam to exam and sources to sources but considering the next will be clinically oriented we can go with the sources which are helping us to retain it for longer period of time in a clinical manner okay so what would be our suggestion would be like uh, first you need to go through any of the three books like select the book by your own choice like whichever book you prefer just read it once then you need to buy first aid because the first aid has simplified the clinical conditions they have given the information in such a way that you need to remember they help you to remember in a clinical way so first aid is uh, important and uh, for video resources we would suggest you to go for physio because in physio they have explained it and they have presented the information in the sketchy form okay so basically physio is a sketchy for biochemistry you all have heard of sketchy medical sketchy pharmacology and if you don't want to uh, see the videos of sketchy form you can if you want to see the videos in the theoretical form you can go for dr rebecca james marrow because uh, dr rebecca has explained it in a clinical way uh, in a very good form so you can follow marrow videos okay so next point how to use these resources like okay first you need to uh, use the first aid open the first aid see the topic given in the first aid select that topic and go to the physio videos watch that video and then revise it relate it with the first aid and after you finish reading and watching the videos go to that topic in the textbook given the textbook whichever textbook you use go to the topic in the textbook give it a read if you find anything extra add it in the first aid that's how you need to remember this biochemistry details and if you watch the first aid, if you watch the physio videos and read it from first aid believe me this will help you retain it for longer periods of time anything like whether it be krebs cycle whether it be glycolysis pathway or anything else if you follow these resources this will help you to retain it for longer periods of time and coming to the end like uh, how to retain it for longer periods of time that is the best thing is apply it to your daily life and apply it clinically how to apply to daily life biochemistry is all about the uh, functions of metabolism which occur in our body after we take nutrients so if you are taking uh, like uh, while studying vitamins you have uh, read across the many sources which are rich in this vitamin b1 to vitamin c vitamin d so in daily life what you can see what you can do is whenever you are eating such food stuff just just try to recollect it that what vitamin will go inside me how it will metabolize how it will help so like this you need to constantly go through it so that you will retain it for long period of time if you just mug up once and just read it and leave it again and then when you open it for the revision in the final year everything will be wiped out everything will be wiped out so as we have said that biochemistry is a volatile subject you have to uh, develop way you have to do it in such a way that so that you can retain it yeah. so that's it guys we come to the end of this video i will summarize it once again select the book of your uh, choice then go for the first aid 
then select the topic and watch it in the video and then at the end read the con uh, read the content of the topic in the textbook that's it that's how you need to do the biochemistry and this believe me this will help you to retain for longer periods of time okay guys that's it for today's video and i hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful please please subscribe to our channel it will really help us and show us your appreciation and we can come with the uh, different content please keep following us on instagram and if you have any doubt mention down in the comment section or you can dm us on the instagram page no doc that's it i take your leave and uh, have a good day